having come to the heart of gold country to inquire into the condition of the monetary metals and the industry that produces them, we conclude and declare, while governments... Gold has been, and remains, money. The most important money in the world. The only immutable and lasting currency. Potentially the most powerful currency. I'd never run into this pattern before. If you own a lot of something, why run a cartel to keep its price down? In the last 10 years, the central banks have effectively shown that when there's a real crisis, gold actually goes down. And then it's so blatant, it's a joke. I really think that the current gold suppression the scheme looks like an act of desperation, which will soon be overrun. Fed Chairman Greenspan testified twice before Congress saying central banks shall lease gold in increasing quantity should the price rise. They carry gold in the vault and gold out on loan as one line item. As a result, report cash and accounts receivables as one and the same thing. This means the central banks has left in less than half the gold they say they have in their vaults. The preservation of the bank's power to create what we use as money is infinitely more important than the price of a portfolio asset. The, the central banks have a very serious problem. They cannot get this gold back. They say they've lent it. When you lend something out, you expect to get it back. A considerable amount of the central bank gold has already been mobilized over the past 10 years. In 1980, 5% of uh, investment monies worldwide was in gold and gold shares. It would take just a tenth of that percentage to take central banks completely out of their gold. The reluctance of central bankers around the world to, to think of gold or silver as money is going, to, is going to be overcome. There is going to be a change in attitude. Once they know this, it's hallelujah time. We want to make it happen this year, not two or three years from now. At all times and in all circumstances, this remains money.